After four years of shooting with the Sony a7S III, I think I finally found the absolute best rig for my style of filmmaking. This is my brand new, updated 2024 handheld rig for Sony a7S III. Listen, I totally understand if you think this is a little bit overkill because I have a huge handle like this linked to a massive arm that it's holding on my camera linked to a photo focus with a monitor and 100,000 cables. But everything on this rig has a reason and it works very well for me so far. So this is what we're covering in this video. And let's start right from the beginning. Why do I even need a rig like this? Why don't I just handheld just a camera and the lens? Well, the reason is that I need something that it's easy to set up and easy to break down. I need something that allows me to control the focus of my vintage and cine lenses because this is all I shoot on. And I also need something that allows me to focus properly and to look at the image that I'm shooting properly while I'm shooting instead of relying on a tiny Sony screen. So this is what I came up with. So obviously the main reason I had to modify my rig is because I wanted to have full remote control over my focus and sometimes even aperture of my lenses. See, when working with vintage and cine lenses, as I said before, you need to be focusing and I don't want to just have still shots all the time. So I want to move forward or backwards, away or towards my subject. And to do so, I need something like this. This is a brand new Tilta Nucleus 2 Nano. And this is the control handle. And on my lens right now, I have the motor kit. So pretty much what this allows me is to plug a USB-C cable in here to the motor, and then I can simply connect them and remotely focus. And this is very helpful because this is also working as a handle, which means that I have double the stability. So what I did, I pretty much figured a way to plug this thing into my camera with this foldable arm that it goes on top of my camera. And yes, my camera is, when I put it down, it's not flat, but I don't care. And this allows me to have a perfect grip on my camera like this, but also doing this to focus remotely, which is very helpful because up until a couple of days ago, all I was doing is holding chill out, only my camera like this, holding my lens like this and trying to focus while moving forward and backward and holding on to the lens gives so much more shakiness to the footage. So having a grip like this and being able to move forward and backward, it's just so much more helpful. So aside from this Tilta handle focus system, I have my monitor on the top right hand side of my cage, which allows me to have this plugged in to the left side of my cage. And the best part is that this is simply a tick, tick, very quick up and release, which means I always have my focus motor mounted on the side of my rig, pretty much, because it just fits perfectly in my camera bag. I don't need to take it off. I don't care. I just leave it there. So all I need to do is simply plug this in, put on a USB-C cable, put my monitor on top, plug a cable on the side, plug an HDMI cable on the monitor, and I'm ready to go. This takes maybe an extra 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, compared to just taking the camera out and shooting. Which to me, if we compare this to the quality of footage that I can get and the type of footage that I can get, this is actually such a plus because I want to create footage in a very different way from a lot of people. I don't want to simply handheld camera with a basic lens. And you guys know this by watching my videos. If you don't, subscribe and like because this is all we talk about on this channel and this is what I like to do with my channel, just do different kind of stuff. stuff. Who needs this? Who needs this? Well, that's a hard question. I feel like a lot of NL rigs are very subjective. There are a million videos. If you type in Sony a7S3, best handheld rig, whatever, 
there are so many videos and so many videos look all different because everybody has a different subjective style of shooting for example i have a friend who likes his top handle and the monitor on top of the top handle and a battery behind and a mud box it's all subjective i don't need a mud box for now because i have ND filters and i think that is more handy because i don't have to mount something else on top of my lens and also all my lenses fit perfectly to my ND filter some other people might like a wider grip some people prefer just a normal like cage you know there is so many different kind of people so many different kind of shooting techniques you can utilize when shooting an L. so to simply find something that works for you keep trying until you do and i'm not saying this is the best handle rig i just feel like this works for me so i'm gonna try this out for a few months and if i like it that much i'll keep using it if i don't like it i'll switch to one but for now this is my handle rig now i also want to cover the things that i decided voluntarily not to include for this handle rig which is something to capture audio with so a microphone to be honest i don't really have space for it and i could possibly kind of put it on the side maybe but then that would add so much weight and for the style of filmmaking that i do it doesn't really matter that much to capture audio in the moment because i like to add audio bits in post-production a lot more because they're more crispy they're nicer or capture audio separately with an audio recorder or a lav mic if it's an interview i never really run and gun shoot with a microphone or in capture audio of people speaking or anything like that because it's just not what i do so for the style of filmmaking this works for me maybe you need a microphone so maybe this doesn't work but for me it works so again try out what works for you and make it work for you don't rely on everything you see on the internet for your shooting just test things out because everything is very very subjective now maybe you just like to get a tiny sony camera like a zve one and running gun it with one lens and that's your style of filmmaking and that's okay we're all different as i said before that's not what i want to chase i want to chase a lot more of a cinematography aspect with interesting lenses big lenses heavy stuff so this is definitely not a life setup for someone who is chasing a different look so yeah take definitely this with a grain of salt and remember that you only have one bag so pick a light setup if you can or just go like me i don't know what to say anymore so thank you so guys for sticking around until here if you did so subscribe and like a lot of you guys who are watching these videos are not subscribed so it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and support the channel thanks for sticking around until this one and i'll see you guys next time